up in an E3. Hell yeah, let's go. done for today and I think it's cool so far we haven't really got to play the next gen stuff but there's lines and lines and lines and lines and lines of everything so more lines more people waiting and yeah we're heading into the main lobbies for uh, the next gen stuff we're gonna go see Nintendo uh, Microsoft and Sony, so hopefully we get to maybe even touch something. All right. Uh oh, <laughs> Batman hype. at E3 this year. Uh, you may or may not know them, but if if not, I'll leave their link to some of their videos on here. But I got to meet Melanie Mac. Uh, go visit her uh, YouTube channel. She's She is a video game reviewer, product reviewer, and she was actually working f uh, for Future Shop to do a bunch of interviews with producers and some people in the gaming industry. So, hey Melanie, I watch your YouTube, I love your yeah, channel. thank you so much! Do you think I can get a quick picture that with her? That would be awesome! Cool. There we go. <laughs> Hooray! She was really cool, and if she's watching, what's up Melanie? And also, I got to meet Jessica, Jessica Negri, who is a cosplayer. And if you guys don't know her, Google her, and you're welcome. Also, I got to meet my friend again, uh, Rachel Moore. If you've seen my Disneyland video, uh, she was the girl who was actually like passed out at like one o'clock. So, but she's actually really awesome. She has her own YouTube channel. I'll put her video, or actually she doesn't have a video up yet, but uh, I'll put a link to her channel and maybe put a link to her video when it's actually activated or something and I'll put it up on here too, so. Uh, she also does review of games. She, I think, last did a Last of Us review, so I'll put that on here. Uh, go check her channel out. She was cool. She's always cool, especially when we go to Disneyland and stuff. So, Okay, so I just wanted to do a, a little uh, glimpse of what my first impressions were for like each of the system. Uh, first off, Xbox One. I think it's a solid system. Uh, one of the main things, for me at least, was the, the control on it. And honestly, when I picked up the control, it actually felt exactly like what an Xbox controller feels like. So from there, I actually thought it was uh, it was good. I only, of course, got to play uh, Crimson Dragoon, that golf game. 
Um, there was that one motorcycle game where the guy is kind of like dragging him. I forgot what that one was called. Um, yeah, I think those were the main ones that I, I got to play just because those ones were just like the shortest lines. Um, but for the most part, it ran really well, pretty smooth, no glitches from what I've seen, at least. But um, system-wise, it was cool. I know my friend got to see the whole demo where they actually had the the motor behind the rumble feature, like in the triggers, not just in the controller, which I thought was really cool. I probably should have seen uh, that demo that they had on there, but I didn't get to. And just behind that was also a little tech demo stage so that they could actually see the connect. I, I wish there were more um, more demos just so that you could see what the connect can do, just so that you don't have to wait in, in that little area. But otherwise, it I think was a, a smart move to not show the connect and like the games and stuff for it, uh, just for this E3 at least. But I think they could have just added a couple more uh, more spots for for just to see the features on that but that was for the xbox one i think it's it's solid uh 4.99 price is still kind of uh up in the air just because of the uh because of the ps4 but section i uh, went to the ps4 uh there weren't a whole lot of uh what's it called uh little boots for you to play the ps4 and when there were that was pretty busy uh, i did see warfare warfare did look uh, for a free game that did look really really clean and it ran really well onto on the PS4. I myself, if you saw the video, could only play on a pinball game for the PS4 but needless to say I just wanted to actually put the controller in my hands just to uh, see how it felt with uh, the couple changes that they had on there. And I know Marco, he was ask actually uh, asking what my impressions were on the controller so uh, here is my PS3 controller right here. I actually thought the PS3 controller, since I have small hands, I thought this one actually felt good to me. Um, for the PS4, it did feel a little bit different as far as the, the grip goes. Uh, if you notice, it kind of goes uh, a little bit thinner on the, the bottom end. But I think, if I remember right, the grip just felt a little bit different. I think it might have been just on this bottom part where it might be a little bit wider. So if you have, a little, if you have I think, bigger hands, you might not really notice a difference. But for me, the way that I gripped the, the PS3 controller, I, I, I think I felt a little bit of a difference on there. Um, not having the select and start buttons on, on the top right here did feel a little bit weird, just because um, when the, the game actually says press, uh, press a button to play, I, I forgot which one I pressed, but I was actually already going to the start button right up top, but of course it's not there on that one. Um, but it being I was playing a, a pinball game, I was using the shoulder buttons a lot more. Uh, one thing I did notice were the, the top buttons for when I was playing the pinball game. When you press down hard, sometimes it, felt, it could feel like it might actually get stuck in there. I don't know if it was just that controller or if, because uh, it being a pinball game everybody's just pressing these ones the whole day so I don't know if it, it could be that but it just felt like when you pressed it it didn't feel like it was gonna pop back up so that was my only co uh, concern for it but for, from uh, my short time playing with the controller I thought it was fine it's just something that it's gonna be uh, a couple of games that yeah, we went to the Nintendo section. It. Nintendo section is awesome. Uh, the games that they had there that we got to play were Mario Kart, Super Mario World 3D. Nintendo of course I think had the best booth out there. Not necessarily saying game and system but the best booth as far as atmosphere and just overall I guess space. PS4 or I mean Sony's booth was well, their main attraction as far as the PS4s were, were pretty busy. I, I like the atmosphere on there just because they had the, like some of the characters um, going through the aisles and stuff. It, it just kind of felt like a fun little atmosphere. Xbox, on the other hand, for them it, it was a little bit crowded. The space was pretty small. Um, and for them it was pretty much like real business. They 
they did have a lot of, of um, people to explain to you what these games are about and stuff, which was cool because everybody's like wondering about these systems. Um, but for them, it was just kind of uh, no nonsense business stuff. But I did like their booth, uh, but I would have to give um, my my choice to the Wii U, uh, the Nintendo booth, as being the fun the fun uh, best booth in E3. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, those were I guess my impressions for it. Okay, so you guys saw what I saw at E3, and usually at E3 they always give you free stuff. I'll quickly go through what I uh, got at E3. So, first off, I got a giant bag from Square Enix with a Realm Reborn Final Fantasy XIV online, which I have a beta for already. And Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. I'm really just wanting to finish the 13 series so we could get that one out of the way. I actually like uh, 13 too, so we'll see how that one goes. Um, of course, I have my lanyard from E3. It's a Wii U one. And of course, I kept my little ID card right there, so there's that. On the second day, I pretty much got this PlayStation Plus bag at the Sony booth. They were very generous in giving me one of those. And of course, came with another uh, regular PlayStation lanyard. If you got to play uh, Gran Turismo 6 out there on um, on those uh, big displays, you would get a, a Gran Turismo 15th anniversary lanyard. And if you did a contest, you could actually win up to a, a hat, a, a 15th anniversary GT6 uh, hat. Um, PlayStation Plus water. Who could uh, who could actually have their own water, right? But this is pretty cool. I'll probably drink it soon. Atlas Games were giving away these little foam crowns. You would have to go to the Atlas booth, show your lanyard, this part of it, and play Dragon's Crown, and you would get this crown. We saw this uh, other developer there. Uh, we're not exactly too sure who it was, but they were giving out these bandanas, which I actually think is really nice. It's uh, We the Force uh, Studios. And main, the main reason why I kind of really like this one is that it has a quote from Rage Against the Machine. We don't need a key, we'll break in. And I think that's... Uh, what song is it? Know Your Enemy? Uh, and then it says, action must be taken in the circle. Uh, we the forest dot com. And it says E3 2013, Los Angeles, California. So, pretty cool uh, bandana. And when we were talking to the folks out there, I believe they were putting out the game, I think, by next year. So, I'm not exactly too sure if it's going to come out or what exactly they're going to come out, but. Check out that website. And saving the best for last, uh, if you got to play The Last of Us demo at E3 in Sony's booth, I think you had to play like 10, 15 minutes of it, you would get this t-shirt. And I know it might actually look a little generic, but the cool thing about this shirt is that if you play the game, the Last of Us, which is still wrapped. I'm gonna probably open this up later today. Uh, if you play the game, Ellie is one of the main characters. Uh, if you look really closely, this would actually be her shirt. So, cool, cool uh, E3 exclusive on that one. But I know I didn't get a lot of uh, exclusives. If you go check on eBay, type into e, uh, E3 2013, You'll probably get a good listing of what else that they had. And they actually had some pretty good stuff. I just wasn't there long enough to get through all the lines, all the demos, so that you could get the free stuff. But I think I managed okay, and I really like this t-shirt. So uh, that is about it. I hope you guys liked the video, and I'm out. Peace.